This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Ride, we go all Wolverine on your The show that takes the mystery out of the effects techniques that goes into some of your favorite Hollywood films. Sometimes I see the film state opening, you know? Not sometimes. Instead of this. It's like kind of often, actually. <laughs> I am not perfect. One of my favorite comic book characters, just to jump right into it, which I think a lot of people would agree with me on this, is Wolverine. Next to Batman, I think he's like one of the most bamf, just all kinds of man, like just all man, is what I'm trying to tell you. So I was pretty happy to see a lot of people asking for what this feller person asked for. With the Wolverine film coming out, something I've always wanted to see you guys do is the claw effect, like coming out and going into Wolverine's hands. What do you think? I think that I love that idea. And so we did it. So let's do it. I'm actually surprised that we waited this long to do this because I love Wolverine. But to start out, we gotta shoot peoples. Wait, like and you have to shoot people? No. No, like, hey people, we gotta shoot off footage. You know, so it's we're like, not cool. shooting anyone. No, not no, not today. And for the shots where the claws are going in or coming out, I actually had marks on Josh's hands. Three where the claws would be coming out, and three lower showing the path of travel. And this was just black gaff tape that I just threw on his hands. I'm doing this to both help my track and guide the placement and movement of my claws. Next, we will bring in that shizzle chisel into After Effects and go to animation, track in Mocha AE, let that open and do our track here. I'm doing the tracking in Mocha because you get more control, it's easier and more accurate. Now, I'm not gonna go through how to track in Mocha here. We actually did a quick bit on that in this episode right here. So check that out, play a dog. This is the player school. school, school. Now once we have our track in Mocha, we copy the clipboard, jump back over to After Effects, set the playhead to the first frame of our comp, create a new null layer, and paste that data to the null. Super deliciously simple. Now to add Element 3D, and in here, Stark used a 3D model that he created in 3ds Max. Now I looked around and didn't find a good free model that I liked at all, so we decided to make this a free download for you guys. So if you want it for your project, go here, download, and enjoy. Now once you have the model all set up in the element panel under render settings, then lighting, check use comp lights and set the add lighting so that all the, the claws will react to reflections and what have you. Then down to motion blur, turn the motion blur samples to 12. This way we won't get the ghosting effect when the claws are making fast movements. Then under group one, then group utilities, hit create to make a null that element will use for all its transformation, position, rotation stuffs. Next, we choose a frame where we can position the claw by eye using this null we created from Element, which, right there, yeah, suck it, Josh. What did I do? Everything. Once we have it in the right spot, we will parent this to the tracking null we created before, and now everything will follow the tracking info we brought in from Mocha. We did it like this because we still have the freedom of the element null so that we can make all the small tweaks that we want rather than having to use an expression 
to attach it. So now make sure that the motion blur is turned on for the element layer and for the comp, then pre-comp everything, including our footage. And now we're gonna go to the point where you want the claws to finish their move out of the actor's hand. Then we're gonna set a keyframe, then move three frames back and drag the claw null position so it's under his knuckles. Now we will duplicate our element layer twice and position them over the other two knuckles. And so far, we have this. On our way to the goodness, but still some distance to travel. So let's take a quick break to thank the fine folks that make this show free for you to watch. And then we'll finish this mother lover off. Mother lover! Mother lover! Are you a human person that needs a website and or domain name? I am both a human and yes. <laughs> It's not like a human. It sounded like a robot. That's besides the point. You know what? No discrimination. If you're a human or a robot, you probably need a website because you, you probably want to advertise your bodyguard business. Because I mean, if you're a robot, the only things sports, that you do sports is sports playing. You're you're a robot that plays sports. Yes. That's isn't that like cheating? No. So if you're a sports playing robot and you want to advertise this on the interwebs, a .NET is perfect for you. It's universally known to inject your website with instant credibility. You will immediately discover the advantages of being a robot that plays sports, building your web presence around a .NET domain name. If you already have a .com, purchase that corresponding .NET and protect your brand. And if the .com you want is already taken, .NET is a perfect alternative. You should scoop it up. They should have scooped. They should have done the thing that you were going to do. It's their fault. Find a .NET at domain.com. They're affordable. Their .NET is only $8.99 a year. It's reliable. It's easy to use. And the guys at domain.com want to take that affordability and even make it more affordable for you by giving you 15% off their service. Just use coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout. Get 15% off your web hosting, your domain name. That is good stuff right there. So don't forget, use coupon code FILMRIOT at checkout for 15% off when you think domain names, think domain.com because you are a sports playing robot. Do you think the people at domain.com are robots? Logo. What up? Hey ho. So again, we currently have this. So now we're gonna copy our footage layer, then turn it off in here, then go to our main comp and paste our footage layer. So now it's in here and not in the other one. Now go to the frame right before your claws start to move and trim the clip to start at this point. Then create a mask by clicking the pen or hitting G on your keyboard, little hotkey action. And mask around your actor's knuckles like so, feather so it's not such a hard edge as well. And then keyframe the mask to move out of frame once the claws are completely out. Now we got the mechanics of how this thing works down, which means we have to match our claws into our scene since currently they don't actually look like they belong there at all. First, we're gonna add some blur since as we've talked about before in the show, our image is not truly sharp, especially when you're shooting with a DSLR. It's actually a little out of focus, even when it looks sharp. If we zoom in, we can see the difference here. So we're gonna add a little bit of blur to take these hard edges out of the claws so it fits our actual image. Moving on, I'm gonna add some levels or curves and go through the same process you would when matching a keyed subject to a background, switching through the red, blue, and green channels and matching each channel individually to our shot. Then correct the contrast as needed. And the last thing you need to do is add your color grade and we finally have. Now you'll notice that we kept the hand straight at the camera for pretty much all the VFX claw shots. That's because once the claws start moving around, it gets a little tricky with the tracking. And since Stark only had one day to get all the VFX done, we made sure to keep it as simple as we possibly could. And the practical prop claws that Josh wore the rest of the time are these bad boys here. You just slip them on your hands and hold them in place. Really simple and effective design, which was made for us again by the very talented Bill Duran. We could go into how you can make something like this here, but Bill already has an awesome tutorial that you can find on his YouTube channel right here. So you can follow along, super easy to follow along. You should definitely check that out because awesome. <laughs> And thank you to Stark for helping out with the VFX yet again. Follow that silent visual magician right here on the Twitters. And that's it for today. We do have some really cool news coming though. I guess there really is no reason for me to tell you this here because I can't really say anything yet, but I am anyway. Some seriously cool stuff on the way, which we'll be announcing once everything's locked in, which we can't say anything about because nothing's locked in yet, so it could hurt the locking in-ness. So I really just told you nothing. And you so may awesome. hate me now. It is. I can't help it. I'm excited. But yes, Twitter for me here. Yeah. And I'll see you guys next week when I talk to my dead dad's consciousness through the ship's computer.
Okay, I'm not even. This isn't a joke. Come on. Really? The fucking time that we're trying. <laughs> I forgot what I was supposed to do.